So today's video, I'm going to go over my monthly thread up progress and what I'm sending this month to thread up. So if you want to see what's going on with my thread up, stay tuned. Hi everyone, it's Stephanie from Three Queens Resale, and if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for joining me, and if you are returning, thanks for coming back. It does mean a lot as I work on building my YouTube channel and my reseller bestie community. Besties, if you're back, love to see it. I love my reseller besties, and um, if you have a YouTube channel yourself, if you will put that in the comments so I can go check you out, and subscribe to you. I want to support other people who have channels as well. So today's, well, first of all, I am trying to grow this channel, so I need you to interact with the with the video. Subscribe, um, and you, if you're interested in reseller content, leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up on your way out. If you don't have time to watch the whole video, just make sure you give me a thumbs up up when you leave. Um, and come back and watch me when you're done. So um, I'm going to show off my shirt because it is listed in Three Queens Resale. This is a Joan Voss um, casual um, three-quarter sleeve top. Here, let's stand up with her. Let's stand up. Um, so I'm going to start. If you can see the bottom. So it goes down covers the bum. It has these side slits. It's striped. It's sparkly. And it's a size extra large. So if you are interested, you it's not yet listed, but if you are interested in purchasing it, you can leave me a comment down below. It is $25 with shipping. So we will ship it to you for free. So I'm going to try to feature a different top in each video or something that we are selling on Three Queens Resell direct to our viewers for discounted price. So now that I got all that business out of the way, let's talk thread up. So um, I'm trying to share with you my thread up process as I send in um, items every month. So I am going to send in um, items to thread up and the real real each month and let you know how I'm doing. So let me pull up my thread up. You can't count on me to be prepared. Um, I don't think there's been much activity since the last time. So let's look at my sales. So right now I still have two bags that have been received but that aren't processed. Um, so hopefully those will get processed soon. And then I have the one bag that is processed, and of that bag, there were one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six items. There were twenty-six items um, that they accepted in that bag, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them have sold. So once again, these are items that I am clearancing out. I just want to move them out of my inventory. They no longer meet my business model or they've been listed for a long time and I haven't sold them and I'm just ready to see them go. So I'm trying to see if there's anything that has sold since the last video. I can't really remember. I think this Karen Hart vest sold, so I'll pop that up. It was listed for $11.99, and it sold for $108. And I can't remember if this Tempo Paris casual dress had already sold, but it sold for $15.99, and my payout was $192. I think everything else was a last month. So, yeah. So, those items have about 21 days left. So, I'll try to um, do my next video before they are, like, expired um, in March. So, 
that's what we're, um, that's what's going on. So, um, I'm going to go over what I'm going to send this time. They are running about 16 weeks behind. I did not do the expedited shipping or anything with my label. So I'm trying to like project like what season is it? You know, what's the weather going to be like six when my items get there? But like, for instance, like I've had two bags that have been processing, like they've received and been processing for two months. So it will be summertime. So as I go through this bin, I'm going to really give special attention to items to, that can go in the summer because with the thread up label, it is only good for 30 pounds. And I know I have more than 30 pounds here. So some of the items will just stay until um, the next month. So let's see. This one, it's a long sleeve, so I'm not going to send it right now. Um, this is a black, like... I'm going to scoop the back. A black um, dress. This is Windsor with an exposed back zipper. And I think it's like a size zero. So I'm going to send that because that will be a good like summer or like wedding dress. Um, these are plus size leggings. So I'm going to go ahead and send those. Um, this is my Michelle Girls. It's a size 10 little white dress. I feel like that would be good for summer. Um, so this is a long sleeve Victoria's Secret pink shirt. I'm going to save that probably to send in March. So, because March we would be at 16 weeks, be starting to look back at the summer. These are Express size zero regular. I believe they're the editor. It doesn't say. Express Design Studio. Um, pants, career pants. I'm going to go ahead and send those because we, career pants I feel are always like year round. I just have, I'm not going to sell them. <laughs> so these are Under Armour. I feel like this brand does decently well and they're like the cropped and they're really small. They're like extra small. I'm going to send those. Oh, this is LA Hearts, which I think is Paxson, so LA Hearts, and it's a cold shoulder romper, and I've had this listed on Poshmark for a while, and Reese listed it, and it's just not, like, worth that much, um, so, yeah, I'm letting it go. Now, this guy, I'm gonna see, this is City DKNY, this skirt, and it's silk. I'm going to see if Real World takes this brand, and if they do, I'm going to send it there. Um, otherwise, I'll send it, because I've had it like a while and haven't gotten much action. This is a like a microfiber suede dress by the brand, boutique brand, Josh. I think it might be, or Joe, I don't know how to say it. I think it might be a Canadian brand, but it looks like me. So I'm going to go ahead and send that because that would be perfect for working in an office. This is an unbranded pool cover up. So I think I'm not even going to send this. I think I'm just going to re-donate this. This was mine and I got it like at a TJ Maxx or Marshalls or somewhere. So yeah, it just got crab, a crab on there. So I'm going to put that in the donate pile. Um, so these guys are tough athletics. They're size small. They have a zipper pocket so you can put your key or whatever, key fob, but they're just these space dye leggings. Um, and that brand doesn't go for much. And then we have, um, these champion leggings. Um, they have this lattice like detail at the hem and they're like a, a cropped seven eighth link length. Those are gonna go. Um, this is Jones, New York. It's just a basic like pencil skirt, like career skirt. I'm gonna go ahead and send that. I've had that listed one of the first things I source. Um, okay, now this is a 2XL Liz Lang, which is a Target brand maternity dress. So maternity pieces can do well. 
on thread up people do not want to spend a lot if um i had my kids 10, 10 years apart so i bought my maternity clothes twice but people do not want to spend a lot of money on maternity clothes um because you only need them for a short period of time like i didn't really need to get the maternity stuff into like the last trimester so i didn't want to spend like a ton of money on those things this is a winter piece, so I'm going to hold off. Um, and the reason I hold off is because once the items hit the site, you only have 60 days to sell them or they you have to reclaim them. And so I don't want to put things that are out of season. Like I'm trying to project ahead. Like if it takes 16 weeks, that's essentially four months. So some of this stuff will hit right at the end of the summer. Um, and then in March... I will send, start sending that winter stuff, because winter fall stuff, so that um, it will hit right in time for that time of year. Unfortunately, they're just way behind, and I don't want to invest. Like, I accidentally got a bag where I had to pay for, like, to have the items shipped back to me. Um, I'm willing to let them go. <laughs> um, I don't want to pay that. So these, this is a Calvin Klein, like, um, burnout, like workout top that you would throw over a tank. It's just sat for a while. Um, oh, here's another dress. So this is, um, Massimo. This is the Target brand and just a nice, like, maxi dress that it's a size medium that I was given to me. A lot of this stuff is given to me. Um, this is tape measure, which is anthropology, and it's this nice black career pencil skirt. It just hasn't gotten any love, so away it goes. And I'm really trying. Oh, this is Mason Jewels, and it's just this cute summer dress be perfect for like a wedding or a bridal shower or a baby shower I'm gonna get rid of all the summer stuff this is Old Navy which Old Navy does move on there this is just a black maxi dress size medium strapless I mean I'm not gonna get a lot of money for it but like I said like um, a lot of these things were given to me and I tried to list them on my sites on Poshmark and now since I've changed my business model, um, I don't want to carry inventory that isn't going to yield at least $20. 30 is my goal, but um, I'm really trying to like streamline my inventory. So this dress is uniform, and this was my dress, and it's just a midi length, lightweight black dress. Very comfortable. I just have too many things like that, so I'm going to let it go. Mm -hmm. And this is a New York and Company, just a black tank top, basic. And our New York and Company is gone from the mall. These are Gap um, Factory, the three dots underneath the right here, mean factory. And these are a good size. They're, tw they're uh, 29 are they 29s? Yeah, they're 29s. And they're long. So, and they have this like little wider cuff. That's why I got them or him. But they've got no action and I've had them for a minute. Um, let's go through the bin real quick to see what else is summer-ish. Pull these things out. all I want to get everything else okay so I pulled out all the summer-ish stuff so this is um NY collection and this is a black just black little flared skirt this was mine size XL and then this is Garnet Hill extra small it just has not sold I picked this up at the bins like maybe like my first trip at the bins like a thousand years ago 
um, and I've relisted it and stuff. So just time to move move it, and it falls into that. Where I'm not gonna get a ton of money for it. This is silence and noise, and it's just like another black dress, like fit and flare. Um, it's a size small, be great to like go out in. Um, and this is Evan Pacone. I just thought this was so pretty, but nobody else did. So I'm going to, I thrifted this at a dollar day. I just was really in love with the length and this like him detail and the polka dots. So let's see if it gets any action on thread up. And this is CY New York and it is um, CY USA, just a, a tank top little wider hem and then this is Morona just another basic like long sleeve t-shirt um should I wait on that if it I think that's 30 pounds so so that's what I'm gonna send to thread up so I'm gonna continue to clean out my bins when it, I'm doing like one or two a day whatever I can get through and either relisting Sending things to thread up, sending things to the real real, um, and just trying to streamline my inventory. So let me know in the comments um, if you are using thread up and if you are, how you're using it um, to support your reselling business. And if you have any tips or tricks that you could share about thread up, please leave them in the comments so they can be kind of like a tutorial for anybody who sees the video. Until next time. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button and I'll see you soon.